What up YouTube? I'm your host TOV The Open World TV Back So today we're gonna We're gonna react to a video um, But before we do so Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment And share this video So you can help other men to not fall into the injustice of this world. Now, something's gonna happen inevitably that you cannot control, but what you can control, and do the best so you don't have to be a victim. Now, whoo, today's topic, today's topic, we have three um, womanists who wants to try something new in their life. So I won't tell what it is. I'll let them tell you. So without further hmm, delay, let's start cooking. I don't want my balls sticking to my legs. Manspreading is when a man spreads his physical body to take up as much space as humanly possible. The people around you are relegated to a very small portion, but the key to manspreading is not noticing. We grow up on two different tracks. People who manspread just are socialized not to worry about it. I have so many vivid memories as a child of my mom telling me to close my leg. With gender, we're constantly working towards trying to get to this middle. This week of manspreading is definitely going to make me feel anxious as much as a super strong feminist, I want to say it won't. I kind of secretly hope to annoy some men. That's my first train. So, um, I'm pretty sure you guys got the idea now. In the first, what, 50 seconds? They already told you this is the plan. <laughs> so, let's see how it goes um, with the men spreading of females or feminist femaleist yeah femen femaleist um because you know we have to <laughs> talk a different language sometimes but you know we'll see if it's a natural thing for men to men spread as they call it we know we're just sitting down but that's what they want to call it but we'll see if it's a natural thing for us men to just sit that way and how they feel when they actually try it themselves let's keep it moving I just feel like a monster already. How can you do this every day without being conscious of it? I just manspread on the bus for maybe a five minute ride for the first time and it wasn't even half full and I was already getting glared at. So I think this is going to be a kind of long week. Uh, let me pause right here real quick. Um, you have to understand, ladies, um, manspread doesn't work with tight jeans, you know? Um, <laughs> <laughs> ah. Men <laughs> Actually, you know what? Women actually they do that they do the men spread all the time. When they're getting pumped, yeah. 
that's actually one you can actually you can actually men spread ladies when you're getting pumped by a man then you can actually because you know you want to you want to make sure he actually gets in uh, comfortably so you have to open them legs wide so that's the, that's actually your your typical men spread for a woman other than that you guys are not very good at men spreading in the bus or in the train or in society in general so do me a favor it's oh actually when you're working out yeah when you're working out yeah you're doing your your leg your legs workout yeah that's also like you know you get that idea men spreading but in general you guys are not really good at men spreading because you biologically speaking and Physiologically speaking, you want to feel small because you want to be protected. That's the other part of that's the backstory that you guys are having a hard time coping with. But I digress. Let's move on. It's day two of man spreading, and I forgot that I had to do this. I think whenever a woman takes up space, she's considered bossy, she's considered aggressive. There are a lot of stereotypes surrounding black women and whether or not we're angry or we're dominant. And so maybe a lot of the reasons why I do minimalize my presence is because I don't want to be perceived or engage with those stereotypes. I just got my nails done, and I man. Hold on. So, um, here's the thing, young lady, um, young woman, is here's the thing. You see how society tells men that they need to protect and provide? Well, it is that same society that tells women you cannot sit a certain way. We don't make the rules. Like a, um, us men, we care less how you walk, how you talk, how you sit. All we know is we're going to go for the woman that actually matches our tastes. And if the way that you sit does not match our taste, well, we'll pass you by. It's that simple, you know. So, uh, think of it that way. You know what? I'm not gonna go there. Let's move on. I just got my nails done and I manspread during my entire manicure and nobody really seemed to notice. I'm not sure if it was because it was all women and we were just all kind of in our own world or what, but it was kind of awesome. I'm halfway through the week and really not enjoying this experiment at all. I'm still giving my seat up to people who need it because of course I am. It's only day three and yet she is already tired of men spreading. Ladies, this is not for you. You see, um, like I mentioned earlier, the only time you're great at men spreading is in the bed. When you're getting um, pumped by a man. That's the only time you are really good at men spreading. This is not your day-to-day -day normal life. So stop acting like you can act like a man. Did you get it? But you know what? Let's keep on moving because I'm pretty sure there's something else we have to learn on that aspect. What is it between their legs that's so important that it requires two to three seats? Um, let me tell you what it is. Uh, it's two things. One, it's our penis. Two, it's our testicles. Yeah. Yeah. If you need to know, that's the answer. It's our penis and testicles. Just so you know. Let's move on. 
when there are kids, families, women and elderly people standing up. I saw a guy who was taking up two seats. When I sat down, I spread my legs out, which kind of pushed his leg into his own seat. And he turned to me and gave me a dirty look and said, seriously? Women are expected to be quiet, small, and almost invisible. Whereas men can be these boisterous slobs, and it's all good. Today, instead of feeling the confidence that I've kind of been feeling the rest of the week, I started to feel a little guilty. While I was sitting there taking up two seats, um, a guy came up to sit next to me, and instead of moving over like I normally would, I kind of just had to sit there with my legs out. And instead of saying something to me, he just sat on the edge of the seat the entire time. You see, uh, ladies, ladies, listen, listen, listen. You see, us men, we are logical creatures. We don't, we don't try to fight you over space. We don't try. You see, this is why. Now, now you understand. When we sit, we open our legs just just how we speak, we sit naturally. But when we come and you're already sitting like that. We're not going to tell you to close your legs. We're just going to sit wherever we find a space. Like, we don't make life complicated. I don't know why y'all trying to make life more complicated. Not only for the men, but for you. Because you're already uncomfortable doing that. But you're trying to prove a point that has no meaning to yourself. What is that? What do you gain by doing this? Nothing. Because then you're gonna feel guilty, like oh, I should have done not done that. We don't do that. We just sit. That I wouldn't be surprised if your womenist have young boys. You would teach him. Oh, if you're gonna go to pee. You need to sit on the toilet instead of stand. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. Just saying. Let's move on. Almost done. So I've come across another person, quote unquote, man spreading. But wait, they identify as female. <gasps> Women can take up space as well. Even though I'm a confident person, I tend to make myself small even when the situation doesn't call for it. And I kind of felt uncomfortable man spreading even though there was no one around me. I've not enjoyed this week at all. The very first day where a group of people came on, they were going to a game and they were all right, so guys, look, look at this, look at this. Like what, like what he says, like Kevin, like um, Kevin Hart said, look at this. Is that what we call men spreading? First of all, when do you see a man sitting like? You see, the other time she showed a video of a man laying on the on the chair. There was nobody standing around him. There was nobody standing around. But she got the, the thing totally backward. Because now she is sitting, taking the whole space. That's not a man spreading. That's like being a. What is that? Narcissistic? Is that what? I don't even know those terms, anyways. But that's, that actually has nothing to do with men spreading. Actually, we wouldn't do that if there were people see, um, standing next to us. She... I'm just happy at least somebody's like, I have not enjoyed this week at all. Like, great. That shows you are not a man. Stay in your woman roll don't try to be a man thank you for your help let's move on we were all desperate for a seat and i was taking up three seats and they started talking about personal space all their eyes were just on me and they were mostly women if it was a group of dudes i would have been like 
Yeah. I thought that manspreading would kind of give me this air of disregard because I thought that I worried too much about what people think and I realized that I worried just enough. You should be concerned with whether or not the people around you are comfortable because that means you're a good community member. My favorite part of this exercise was easily when I got to sit next to men who were taking up way too much space and just forcefully work my way into the seat and without words say, hey, I deserve to sit here. To be forced to manspread really showed me how up your own ass you have to be as a person to not be conscious of those around you. To the man that's taking up too much space on a bus, on the plane, on the bench, we see you. You don't need that much room. To the young women out there, I say, you should definitely be aware of your surroundings. If there's something that you want, if there's something you want to say, if there's a position that you want to hold, take up that space. You deserve that space. Girl, you take up space. You fill the room with your crotch. Hi guys, we're gonna stop right. Oh, actually, the video is actually already ended. Um, so, what do you guys think about women trying to sit like men, <laughs> but totally doing it in the wrong way? Because, yeah, now I, I want to be honest. In the plane, sometimes in the plane, and if it's not full, um, and I have like four seats. I just take the all four seat and just lay down. But there's nobody who's trying to sit and not be able to sit like she was trying to do. Trying to prove a point, but the wrong way because, hey, she tried to men spread when there were people actually standing. We actually do that, what she did, we do that when there's nobody else around who needs a chair or most of the places, are, most of the chairs are empty. So, this was TOV, the Open the TV. Comment, like, subscribe. Mm -hmm. Until then, I'm out.